there everyone, my name is Jingles and today I am back with another tutorial. After my last clothing one, I got literally like a billion requests to do one that was more geared towards males. So today I am here with like a gender neutral clothing tutorial with some more stuff for you to learn today. I hope you enjoy and if you do consider subscribing, liking, sharing, yada yada yada, all that. Enjoy! Alright, we're gonna start off easy t-shirt time. The first step of making anything in skinning is always getting your palette. If you are new here, you might not have known that, but I'm here to show you how. I'm thinking I'm going to go with like a purple shirt. I'm feeling it. Um, so you're going to get four shades here. You're going to need four different shades. I like to start with the darkest color first and then make my way over to the lighter shades, but that is purely a personal preference. Make sure when you are getting your shades, you are moving the outer color wheel, this thing, as well as the inner. All right, once you are satisfied, you are going to grab the lightest shade using the color picker over here. Just select your lightest shade. And we're gonna do the outline. So basically just the shape of the shirt. You wanna turn on the mirror tool over here. And for the arms, we're gonna start with the arms. All you need to do is go from the top and do three um, pixels down, just like that. You can also do four if you want. It doesn't really matter, but this is just like a t-shirt, so the sleeves are meant to be short. Okay, I actually changed my mind and did um, four, but that's okay. Now we are gonna outline the torso area. So actually you can just do something really easy. You can take this bucket tool over here. I never use this, this is crazy. And just splash it um, flat onto the torso area and then we're gonna edit it. After that, you're gonna delete the top two middle pixels on the torso, just like that. That's meant to be like the neck area. So you know on the shirt, it has like a cut um, where your neck is supposed to go. You can maybe do it four pixels or just two, it doesn't really matter. And then down here on the legs, we are just going to draw one line all the way across, uh, except for the outer two pixels, just like that. All right, now that you've got your outline going, we're gonna head to our darkest color. Color picker, select the darkest, and we're gonna start with the arms again. What you're gonna do is, if you have a two, uh, four pixel long sleeve, then you can do two pixels at the top left corner, just like that. And if you only have three, you can just do one like that. Now you can take your second darkest color and outline everything to the right of this darkest color and also the bottom. So if you've ever watched my videos before, you know that when we are using, when we are shading with arms, you want the darker colors to be more towards the inside this way and the lighter colors to be more towards the outside, like over here. You can take your third darkest color and just make a little, um, backwards L over there. So essentially you have a highlight right here with your lightest color in the middle. And that is your arm shading. For the torso area, you're gonna start with your darkest color as usual. And we're gonna do like the fold over technique is what I've called it in the past. And for this, you're gonna wanna take everything that's on the arms and take those exact same colors and pixels and do it one pixel over on the torso. Let me show you what I mean by that. You're gonna take your darkest color and one pixel over on each of the side of the torso. You're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna take your third darkest color, one pixel over, do the same thing, just like that. Now up here on the top, you are going to take your third darkest color and fill in this little rectangular area up here. You are going to take your third darkest color again and just draw a line all the way down on, whoopsies, all the way down on both sides. Just one pixel wide will do. Still using the same color, you can go down to your line of the legs and just color it completely, just like that. And also the line above it. So it should be looking like this so far. Now we're going to add some details with our darkest color. You are going to want to go one pixel past the arms. What I mean by that is when this sleeve ends in the arms, you count one pixel, that's one, and then you place it on the next one, but like inside the shirt. So just like that. You are going to take your third lightest color and make a little pixel just to the left and right of that to make it jut out. The reason why we do this is because we don't want the shading to look too harsh. When you have a shade, like let's say you have the darkest color, you want your, your next darkest color to be immediately surrounding it on all sides because if you were to put like your lightest color next to it, that shading would not look good. It would look too harsh. So we're just making a little barrier here. Same thing with the darkest color. We're gonna add a little bit more detail down here. All you gotta do is on both sides of the torso, on the very bottom, you are going to put two pixels, whoopsies, two pixels just like this and this. 
finally, on the bottom, you're going to do two more pixels. So diagonal into the left or diagonal to the right. You're going to draw two pixels like that. And now I'm going to give you a second. What's the problem here? The problem is the shading thing I was just talking about. You see this darkest color right here is exposed to the lightest. That's not good. So what we're going to do is take the third darkest color and add a pixel right there to prevent that harshness from happening. Now we are going to be fooling with the highlights. What I generally like to do is actually just color this all with your um, third darkest color first and then you can go back and add the highlights. Sorry, I should have made you color this with the third darkest color in the beginning, but we're past that now. <laughs> and you're gonna you're gonna take your lightest color and you are going to count two pixels up from this like middle line thing that we drew. That's one, that's two. And in the center, you can just add two pixels just like that. So you can either do the counting up from this thing or counting down from the neckline. So also two pixels in between there. And for the bottom highlight, we are gonna count one and two down from the center line again, and then draw a four pixel wide line, just like that. Now we are missing something very important. If you have watched any of my other videos, you'll know that it is the outer layer. This looks incomplete, it looks flat, it looks boring. The reason what be <laughs> the reason being is because we have no outer layer, so let's fix that. Over here, you're gonna want to select the outer layer so it looks like this, and both of them are orange. You're gonna take your color picker too tool and we're going to do an outlining technique so you want to select your third darkest color over here like the one with the l and just outline whatever's already there just make it on the uh, make it on the outer layer same thing for this highlight here you know take that exact same thing and put it on the outer layer it's the same thing there's these four pixels in this exact order on the body layer and then the exact same thing on the outer layer for the actual torso area, you're gonna take color picker, select this um, color up here, and just draw two pixels like that below the neckline, wherever it is. Maybe you did a four pixel wide one and you'll have to draw it there, uh, whatever works for you. And finally, at the bottom, you are going to outline everything on your legs and also one pixel diagonally to the right and one pixel diagonally to the left of that line. So it should look like this. On the torso, it's just like that. All right, awesome. That is about the extent of the shirt on the outside at least. I'm just gonna teach you a method which I've talked about 5 billion times in my other videos. Um, I'll just go over it really quickly. Since you haven't watched any of those, please go do it. This is the same thing. This is like the wraparound theory that I to told you about over here. You're gonna take whatever color you already have on the front and just wrap it around the side. Wrap it around the side. When it comes to the highlight, you are going to want to count three pixels back from the front. This is the front, so you count one, two, three and you're gonna place a pixel over there in the middle on the same row that this is on. Same thing for the outer layer, you're just gonna do the uh, same exact thing that's on the body layer, just on the outer layer. And you do the same wraparound for the inside too. You wanna do this area, you also wanna do this area over here, this area over here. It's all the same wraparound thing. The backside is exactly the same as the front. You can use Planet Minecraft's cloning feature, and I've talked about that also 50 times in my other videos, so go watch some of those if you're not sure how to do it. All right, next up is hoodies, and these are actually somewhat the same as um, t-shirts, except they have a little bit more going on. First, we're gonna start with the arms. You can take everything that you already had here, and we're gonna build off of it. You're gonna take your darkest color, and at the bottom left, or bottom right of your arm, depending on which one you're on, I always do the right arm, so, you're gonna draw two pixels like this in the bottom. So you're mirroring what you did in the top, just like that. Then, you're gonna count four pixels down from this pixel right here, the ending of the top darkest color line. One, two, three, four. And then you're gonna place a pixel right after that, so there should be four in the space. Sorry, my bad. Then you're gonna take your third darkest color and fill in this line here. Everything that you did not just cover with the darkest color. We are then going to do the little boundary. I know it looks weird right now, don't worry. We're then gonna do the little boundary thing that we did over here. Do it on the arms. We're gonna apply that same theory. So just like that and just like this. You never want the lightest color to touch the darkest colors when you're making skins. Afterwards, you can take your third darkest color and fill in everything. Time for the highlights. You can take your lightest color and directly above this little um, bump in the middle of your arm, you can add two pixels in the center just like that. 
you can count one down and then do the same two pixels just like that so it's not immediately after there's one little space just like that so it should be dark it should be touching your darker area down here this looks really awkward so what we're gonna do is actually for hoodies we're gonna make this center line thing go one pixel down just move everything that you already had there down and now you can see the um, theory that I taught you about earlier applied the wraparound thing you have this little dent um, in the arms here and you have the exact same colors going to the left and going to the right right here we're gonna fix the highlights a little bit by also moving them one down but that's pretty much it you can keep the same exact outer layer that you already had on the torso but for the outer layer on the arms all you need to do is the first third darkest color you see up here you can outline just like that Notice how we're only doing two pixels. There's nothing. There's never any outer layer right there closest to the torso. And then we're going to make a little square at the bottom. What I mean by that is you're going to take this color right here, do a little outline so it should look like that. Then you're going to take this right here and also this right here. So you made a little square, two by two square at the bottom. And finally, above that, you can count one pixel, make a little space, and then take your third darkest color and add another line just like that. And here you are, you have your hoodie. Hopefully you were watching the last part since we applied some other techniques. You can do your wraparound stuff there. And if you want, you can add some drawstrings for the hoodie. So you just wanna pick like a maybe a lighter color, maybe a dark color, whatever you want. I normally do three pixels on this side and four pixels on the other and then add like a, a darker little aglet as I have learned it's called. Uh, that looks really weird. All right, that looks fine. Just like that. You might want to make this area up here darker since that's the pattern of the um of the shirt like these two pixels all across are darker than the ones below and maybe you even want to add some outer layer i normally make the outer layer definitely on the aglets and then also two pixels on the longer string and only one on the shorter and you get this All right, moving on to regular pants. These are like sweatpants. Um, made some epic shoes down here. I do have a shoe tutorial if you want to learn how to make these. Um, but for now, we're gonna move on to the pants. So you're gonna need four colors again for these. I'm just gonna do like some dark black pants. So I'll be right back once I have my palette. All right, once you have your palette, which you can see I do have here four colors as we are used to, you're gonna take your darkest color. Really simple step. All you need to do is turn on your mirror tool and the line in the middle you can just outline with your darkest clothes i mean your darkest color after that you can take your next darkest color and outline that on the side then what you can do is assuming you have some clothing up here or something you just want to like kind of make an appearance of it having a shadow almost so what i like to do is add a pixel right there so it looks darker immediately after the close same thing down here so you can see we're kind of like making a, a like a little circle if you if you want to call it that next we will take our third darkest color and fill in everything pretty simple and finally the highlights so you're gonna take your lightest color and just anywhere in the middle it's it's really flexible about where you want this highlight to be you can do it there you can do it here whatever you think whatever looks best uh i, I kind of like it i don't know do i like it here i think i'm gonna go with here this looks pretty plain you can either do it this way or you can do it the fancy way if you want um, the fancy way isn't actually that fancy. It's just adding like a break like you see here on the arms So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your darkest color and somewhere in the middle also not picky about where you do it You can add two pixels on each side of the darkest and then you can do that little boundary thing that we talked about like that So it kind of simulates like the knees I guess And for the highlight you can use the same principle that we did on the arms So directly above the break you're gonna add two and then you're gonna count one pixel down from the break right here and then add the highlight down there and that's what i normally like to do i think that looks pretty good and for the outer layer really flexible also pants are flexible i like to have fun with my pants what we what i normally like to do is i like to somewhere near the top add a like a single pixel tall line so just like that normally it's only two wide so you see it only covers one two pixels out of these four pixels of the pants and then i maybe one pixel down i like to do a two pixel tall um three pixel wide outer layer thing just like that 
two pixels tall, three pixels wide, and it's with a one pixel tall break in between. Once again, depending on how long these pants are, you might want to add another thing. So at the bottom, I just want to add one or two pixels down here again. Again, all outer layers should be the exact same colors as you see beneath. So if I toggle the outer layer and inner layer, nothing really changes. It's the same exact colors that are underneath. It's just outer layer. Same thing for the wraparound um, principle, theory, whatever you want to call it. You take the colors that are already here and you just wrap them around. For the break, what you're going to do is you're going to take this, not the darkest color, but the next darkest color. And in the middle of the pants, so you see how there's one pixel to the left and one pixel to the right, you're going to draw two pixels just in the middle like that, on the same level that the line is already on. For the highlights, same thing I already talked about with the top up here. Wrap around the outer layer the same as you did the inner layer, and you should be good. Now, let's move on to our final thing for today which is ripped jeans, or I guess ripped pants, <laughs> if you want it to be that. We are going to use this model that we already had made earlier with the simple no break, just like that. Get rid of the outer layer if you already had it, or if you're starting a new, that's totally fine, and we'll also get rid of the highlights for now. So you should be left with this. This is also incredibly flexible. I suppose pants have the most leeway in terms of design so far that I've discovered. I've never really thought about it actually, but I never make them the same each time. For these, you're gonna turn off the mirror since that would look really unnatural, I guess, if you had it on. And you're just gonna make some random holes. For my holes, sometimes I like to do jeans with the style of pretty straight um, ones, just like that. And on this side, maybe I'll do, I'll do this something like that. These are like really straight and uniform rectangles. There's no funky shapes about it. Sometimes I like to do straight on one side. Oopsies, I'll keep this one. And then on the other side, I'd like to do weird shapes like this, something like that. I don't know. It really depends. You can make whatever holes that you want, except the very important thing is that this dark line should never be disrupted in the middle. You can disrupt everything else, but as long as it's not going all the way to the edge of the pants, since that would just mean that you wouldn't have pants. I mean, think about that, how that would work in real life. It wouldn't. <laughs> For the outer layer, sometimes, 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 I like to take my lightest color and then make it like a lot lighter and a lot more gray and just outline almost everything. That's maybe too much actually. Um, outline almost everything that you see, which is just outlined around the, the rips. So, so notice how I'm not doing every pixel. Like I didn't do this one, I didn't do this one, I didn't do this one, but just enough to make it seem natural. And then I would just add some more outer layer here with these colors. Again, there's a lot of leeway. Sometimes I wouldn't do that. Sometimes what I would do is just keep um, these colors as they are and make outer layer with them. Just like this. So notice how I'm also using this color now. I'm also outlining with this and you get something like that. It doesn't really matter. Um, I tend to like this one more for dealing with darker clothes and with the lighter ones I usually like to do them. Um, the like kind of lighter thing that I showed you over here, you don't like this thing, but it, it really depends. You can do whatever you want, whatever makes you happy. On the back, when you do the cloning technique, I normally don't do the same thing. I normally have them as like normal closed pants on the back, like we just discussed earlier. For the wraparound, this is actually a little bit different. I normally go one or two pixels with the holes continuing them, just like that. And then I continue with the normal pattern, like everything over here. Then I just continue with that. And you'd follow the same principle with the outside. You continue it for however um, long you made your hole, and then you dent it. Just like, did I do that wrong? Oh yeah, just like that. There you go. I hope you enjoyed and learned something. Um, I have a couple announcements. I will not be posting for maybe like a week, possibly even a week and a half, since I am going on vacation. So that should be fun. Commissions will also be like temporarily closed. We didn't already order one. But if you want to order one when I get back, my details um, require you to contact me on Discord, Jingles the Cat, capital JTC, number 0064, and we will discuss. See ya!